Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're going to be doing a virtual golf lesson using the V1 Golf software. But first, I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to use it in my process and my procedure, how I do it. I have a system in place that I've been doing for years and it works. So let me explain it. First, when you get the video, and you see what we do, I'm gonna split screen it and compare you to another professional golfer of maybe the same size or build. And I am gonna make sure your setup, your grip, your aim, your posture, your feet, your hips, your shoulders, spine angles, all that stuff. I know that sounds like a lot, cause it is, but that's why we're gonna work on the setup. That's something you can do in your house. I'm gonna explain in detail how to do it and split screen it with somebody that's doing it. That's a good thing. So. I want that to be very important because the setup is about, it, it, it accounts for about 95% of what we do on a golf swing. So we need to make sure that setup's right. And that's something we can do. That's just going through the process and understanding what to work on. Because oftentimes what I see with amateurs when they look at videos, they just look at the swing and they start trying to fix the swing and their posture or their ball position's off or their grip's off. And I tell you what, it just causes a domino effect of negative so the first process, first step we're gonna do, we're gonna get the setup right. Then, when I give the video and do the video of you and voice record it, I'm gonna give you one swing thought. I'm gonna give you one swing technique that I want you to work on before we do the next video, okay? We're gonna keep it simple, but you gotta get one thing. If it's a takeaway, then that's what we're gonna work on and we'll do the next video on the next step if you have step one down. But we have to do just one thing at a time in the swing. We can't be doing multiple. That is, that is too much for anybody to do. So we'll get the setup right, and then we'll give you one swing thought for your specific needs, all right? So this gentleman today coming at you, he's a 16 handicapper. He is left-handed, he hooks the ball too much with his irons. So just remember what I just said about the process as, we, as you watch the videos I do, and you'll see that this guy's got a lot of opportunities to be really good when he changes his setup. All right, enjoy. Hey Nathan, uh, this is Neil. How you doing? Hey, first of all, I want to tell you your swing. You got a really nice swing. Uh, there are some things that set up that I see that will, I think, help you out enormously. So I want to go over that. I've got Zach Johnson here. I'm going to compare you to um, for a few reasons. The setup, I want to show you where his hands are hanging and then the swing plane. Okay, so let's look at his hands right here. So when he's, he's set up, the butt end of that club, his hands are hanging down naturally. They're a little bit closer to his body than yours. But then the butt end of that club is pointing more at his belt buckle. You can see yours. You got your hands a little higher. You're a little bit too far from it. And therefore, the, the butt end of the club is pointing more up, which is creating also, I'm going to take a few of these lines off, uh, a little bit more roundness in your shoulders. So it's like tension to me. So if your hands were hanging a little bit more naturally down and you had it moved it in closer to your body, your hands should be right underneath your, your chin at a dress. Yours is out a little bit. Okay, next thing with your setup, I want you to look at, I want you to look at his forearms, okay? So you could see his right forearm and the shoulders are square with his feet here. So. I would say yours, I, it's hard to tell, but look at your, all I see is your left forearm. I cannot see your right forearm at all. So that tells me that your shoulders are open compared to your feet and your hips. So that'd be a big point of emphasis to get that right at the setup. So let's, let's um, break that down. Hands hanging more naturally down where we get the butt end of the club, more at your um, belt buckle. Number two is move it in closer to your body, um, right underneath your, your chin. Number three is we wanna get that, your setup there, what's causing it, it's hard to see from this thing, I bet you've got your hands a little forward pressed, which is opening up your shoulders. Make sure you have the butt end of the club pointing more at your navel or maybe at, no more than an inch right of your navel at setup. I bet you know that, that's why, what's causing your shoulders to be so open. Now that's going to affect what we do in the swing here. So when we take it back here, I'm going to take Zach Johnson back here. We got the blue line for the swing plane and the red circle for your head movement. We want to check that out. 
But when he takes it back, he takes a one-piece takeaway. He's right on that swing plane. Most of your good players are right on that line. Okay, now we take yours back. You immediately take it back with your hands, and it goes inside. Okay? All right, so let's keep going here with uh, Zach. And you can see here, you can't really tell there, but the butt end of the club there is pointing more at his body. Yours is disconnected because you do the hands. Your butt end of the club is pointing more that way. It's, it's disconnected. So just a classic inside move. All right, so let's continue going back with Zach here. He gets it up there. His head's relatively still in the back swing. Okay, let's watch yours. As you got it so inside, your head gets pulled down just a little bit. Not too much, but it's just more the inside path we need to work on. Pretty good position at the top. Um, so let's keep going here. And Zach comes down. He starts with his lower body. Bam, he drops it. That head gets right back on line there. Hey, you come down and you drop it. Man, you drop it really good. You got good angles coming more to the inside there. It's probably what's going to make you almost really too inside there. Don't say that often, but that's probably why you hook it too much. And then a good move there. Okay, let's watch Zach here. He's more on the line there, so you're coming way more to the inside, which is going to make you want to hook it too much. Uh, his head's good. Um, balance, that would look at the balance there. He's got right on that right heel coming through it, and you can see you kind of spin through it. Kind of lose your balance there. Okay. So, let's get that set up right, Nathan. Let's get those hands closer. Let's do that. And then I really want you to focus on this takeaway. This is something you can do when it's cold up there. I know it's cold up there in Canada. Just work on this takeaway. And, you know, put a shaft back there behind it where you can look at the line here. You know, like, when I agree, it, I'll send you a video of that. But that's of how to do that. But you can work on this takeaway without even hitting the ball. And you get that takeaway better, then when you come down, you're going to have a better path also. That affects everything, just your swing path on the way back. So I'm going to send this to you. I hope that helps. I'm going to, get, I'm going to look at um, the face-on video, and we're going to talk about that as well. Hey, Nathan, it's Neil. Hey, I wanted to compare you here to uh, Rory McIlroy. I got him flipped around. To, he's swinging left-handed. I'll tell you what, first of all, you got a great swing. You do a lot of good things. I can't believe you're a 16 handicap with how good you make. Some of these positions are really good that you're in. But I can tell what's probably holding you back from consistency is really some things you can correct right now. And I, I'm excited to show you this, and it's going to make a big difference. All right, first thing, I want you to look at um, your shaft here. Your hands are forward pressed a little bit too much. You can have a little bit of forward press, but I'm going to give you an idea here. Like your butt end of the club's going more to the outside part of your right shoulder. Now, if I do this, you can see there's a little forward press with Rory it's set up here. But let's look at that. Let's draw this line up here. Uh, you know, that's more inside, you know, the armpit area. So if you can move your hands back a couple of inches, you know, a little bit closer, more towards your navel, I tell you what, that's going to help out because I can tell from here your shoulders are open compared to your feet and hips pointing to the right. So that would help you get that more square set up. Also, too, you can't see from this angle, but you need to move in a little closer so you're not so hunched over. Your head's a little bit too down because you're reaching for it just a little bit. So we need to change those things that set up and make that very, very important to do that because that's we need that right on the money before you start swinging back. Okay, so let's go back here in the swing here. Um, got these lines here for your hips. You want to stay within that on the back swing. And let's go back with Roar here. And he makes a great takeaway with his hands. You know, his hands, arms, and upper body are all one piece. Okay, let's do, let's show yours. And it's just all, it's just more, hand, the hands just kind of flip it back. Okay, let's watch it. Let's watch Roar here again. 
There's no hands. It's, it's just really still here. I mean, the you can see the back end of his glove there. It hadn't even rotated that symbol. You flipped yours in there a little bit. So you're disconnected. The takeaway is going to be the main thing, okay, with you after we get the setup. And then, all right, let's go back here with Roy. Nice and wide takeaway. He gets to the top. And because he's got, you know, a little bit better takeaway, more straight back. Let's see here if we can see this. He's got a little bit more load up there with his spine at the top because of that. Okay, because you're inside. I mean, you're definitely pretty good there with your, you're in the lines over your hips, but you're pretty straight up and down. Okay, but this, the, the takeaway is what causes that. If we get the takeaway better, it probably changes this position at the top. So I can't overstate how important that is. All right, now coming down, let's watch Roy. He drives with the lower body. You can see the hips driving into it. I mean, he's ahead of the line. He went lateral. Okay, let's see how you do here. Uh, you do too. I mean, that's that's a good athletic move. Okay, let's keep going here. His head's going to stay down. His hands are ahead of the club face at impact. Okay, and let's see where you are here. Looks like you're even. You got pretty good. Not bad at all. I can tell you're coming a little bit too much from the inside there. All right, and his head's still down. Good extension. You got pretty good extension as well. Okay, some pretty good positions there. And keep going here, then watch his balance. This is something I want you to start working on. Is to start holding your finish where you don't do that, where you fall off balance. Okay, so uh, good positions there. We need to get that the, the swing path on the, on the takeaway better where you're going more straight back, not taking it back with your hands. And halfway back, I'd want that butt end of the club pointing more at your body and not down the fairway. Okay, so that, that's the biggest point. So that setup and that takeaway. And then work on your balance. And you could probably slow it down. I can't see your swing speed here, but how you're coming through it and you're getting off balance, you're probably going at it pretty hard. I would like to see you work on your balance where you're not maybe not swing quite as hard. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, you work on your game and change these setup points and takeaway. I think you can go from that 16 handicap down to 10 if you work on this stuff. All right, excited to see um, what happens with your game and give me some feedback. All right, that was a great video. That gentleman's got a great swing. He's got a lot of power. I think you can see what I was saying in the beginning about, hey, if you get the setup right, he's got so many setup issues that he could easily change. And I, it's going to affect this swing so much. Um, I've already sent him a video, um, a drill for the takeaway. And I've got a written, a written plan of action for him too. That comes with every lesson that I give on the virtual golf lessons. So that way you'll know exactly what to do for step one. And then for the next video, we'll move right on if we got all these procedures in place. So it's important that you know that. I'm not just randomly throwing out 10 things for you to work on. We're going to get that set up and that one thing that I'm going to send you, and that's very important. So for more information on this, please visit barnhillgolf.com.